Answering the internet's 13th most asked question about Neuralink. How is Neuralink implanted? Our brains have billions of nerve cells called neurons that allow us to feel, think, and do things. Each of these neurons send and receive information chemically and electrically. Neuralink cares about times the neuron activity leads to a voltage spike. These spikes are informative. Depending on where they are in the brain, they indicate something about what is felt, thought, seen, heard, smelt, moved, etc. And as you might imagine, these voltage spikes are extremely tiny and undetectable by any of us. So Neuralink needs to implant these very thin and tiny probes that can detect that electrical activity. That's what's being shown here. Neuralink uses their surgical robot called R1 to image the location and then sew these tiny threads into the brain tissue while avoiding blood vessels. They then cover up the hole in the skull with the device called N1. These little probes can send electrical signals to stimulate our neurons or get information from our neurons. Now this type of thing has been demonstrated before by other labs and companies, but no group has ever done it in the same way. Neuralink is building a far more advanced device with much more capability. For example, with a similar device called a Utah Ray, you can see this rigid grid of sharp metal electrodes. If you're intrigued and want to continue learning about Neuralink, follow for more videos.